Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. Hi guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thurman's Guitars and Basses. For those of you who might not be familiar with the series yet, I'm taking intros, licks, riffs, bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. As per usual, this is a recommendation based format, so please go down in that comment section and let me know which song you'd like to see here and I'll get to you as soon as possible. While you're down there, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much in advance. Now let's get started with today's song, which is Lenny by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Lenny and SRV were requested several times. I've had Aris Reza asking for it, James Wood Guitar asking for it as well, and I do not thank you for that. This is a really, really complicated song. It's hard to play, but it's even harder to feel, and it's really, really hard to play right. So I'm gonna give it my best and uh, we'll see what works. Let's get started with the guitar, and again, I'm going to be using my Fender Strat for that. Uh, Steve Ray Vaughan is a legendary Strat user, so I'm gonna go with this one, and I'm gonna be playing the song using the neck pickup. Kind of as I mentioned in the Jimi Hendrix Little Wing video, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's probably going to be linked somewhere. There's a lot of debate around like position five or four, like both pickups out of phase at the same time for Steve Ray Vaughan. I'm trying to base myself off of the uh, Elmo Combo live and the crazy hum that's going on in the background. And this is like a pure single coil hum, not a out of phase, uh, even more so hum cancelling kind of position, which is why I'm going with position five. Nothing wrong with position four, it kind of works too, and I think it depends also on the amp that you're using. You might want that kind of extra strat brightness, spankiness for certain amps. But yeah, uh, using the neck pickup will take us from that sound. To that sound. I'm afraid this episode is going to bear a lot of resemblance with the Jimi Hendrix one, and for good reasons. Obviously, SRV was a massive Jimi Hendrix fan. Just like last time, any single coil equipped guitar could work, but it's SRV, so it kind of has to be a Strat, I guess. Anyways, there'll be a link in the description box down below to a bunch of options at different price points uh, if you want to check these out. And now, let's go on to our second part, which is the amp and pedal setup. SRV is one of the most iconic Dumbbell amplifiers uh, users and although he used a bunch of different uh, Fender type amps, uh, Marshalls, Dumbbell kind of keeps coming back for that really bright, really punchy clean tone, which is what we're after for that introduction. Because the budget for that video was not going up to hundreds of thousands, I could not get my hands on a dumbbell, so I'll have to use my Fender Tweed right here as usual. The control panel will be on the screen. And again, just like the Jimi Hendrix episode, the best way that I found to get close to that result, that really punchy, bright but big sound of these 100 watts, amplifiers is to boost the front of your amp with a clean boost which is what I'm going to do now with that Rodenberg uh, 707 clean boost and really really boost it make these tubes work and that's going to take our sound from there to here
Don't push your amp into overdrive, just use the boost to the limit of that overdriven amp sound and try and get the cleanest but biggest clean sound as you possibly can. And now to add even more body to our sound, even more resonance and, and fullnessness, because that's a word, we're going to add just a little bit of reverb. I'm going to use the Strymon Flint on the 70s uh, mode and every control at 10 o'clock. And that's going to take our sound from there. to there. The reverb should really not be in the way of the clarity or definition, so make sure you keep it still under control. But it's a nice way to add, again, richness to your sound, and that's like the richest of sound. So. And with that done, uh, let's go on to the terribly <laughs> complicated part that is how to play the song. As per usual, if you want to spend some more time learning the song, and I think we'll all need that, the tabs will be available in the description box down below. Otherwise, let's get going with our fretting hand. Not that many chords, but pretty intricate chords and rather hard to move around. So make sure you get really comfortable with these shapes and work them out slowly before trying to go full speed on it. But with that in mind, let's have a look at our picking hand. One of the many challenges of this song comes with the picking hand and the use of the trem bar because it's being used a lot and it's being used in between notes that are really close to one another and that means you can barely drop it you need to have control over the trend bar at all times so that's going to be an exercise on its own i found that what worked for me is just to keep like the pinky or two fingers max over the trend bar and that does not impact the way that i usually hold my pick or pick so that kind of works but you'll have to find you know the technique that really works for you depending on your wrist position and and all of that but with that said your picking hand should look something like this Just one more time, and I cannot stress that enough. This is an incredibly hard song to play, and I've had a really hard time learning it. Not because of the technical side of it, there aren't that many chord changes, the picking pattern is not that fast, but it is so hard to play right and feel right. Your phrasing, your timing, the dynamics of your pick, of your trem action, all of that is gonna make for 90% of how the song ends up sounding like. I don't doubt that you'll master the chords and all of that rather quickly, but I really suggest spending a lot of time playing it over and over again. Try and pick harder on this note, lighter on this one, and figure out exactly the kind of energy you should put in it, because that's what will get you, well, not, not too SRV, but I guess close enough to play the song. And with all of that in mind, 
I think that's it. You guys have all the tools I could give you uh, to play Lenny by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Don't forget to drop me a comment and let me know which song you would like to see in the future for this series. I'm looking forward to your recommendations. While you're down there, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate it. In the meantime, have a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone. Thank you.